Hi everyone, welcome to AHR's IES Institute. We are back again with the important questions for prelims 2020. So let us begin. Question number one. Choose the correctly matched pairs, tributaries with their rivers. One, Betpa, River Yamuna. Two, Gomti, River Ganga. Three, Pranheta, River Brahmaputra. Four, Ghataprabha, River Godavari. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A. 1 in 3 only. B. 2 and 4 only. C. 1 in 2 only. D. 3 and 4 only. Correct answer is C. 1 and 2 only. 3 and 4 are incorrect. The third statement is incorrect because Pranhita is a left bank tributary of the Godavari river. The fourth statement is incorrect because Ghata Prabha is a right bank tributary of the Krishna river. Betwa is a right bank tributary of the Yamuna river and Gomti is a right bank tributary of the Ganga river. Mentioned in the comment section right bank tributaries of Brahmaputra, we will discuss it in the next video. Let's move on. Question number two. Which of the following are included in the list of neglected tropical diseases? Number one, Chagas disease. Number two, rabies. Number three, snake bite. Number four, anemia. Number five, COVID-19. Number six, trachoma. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A. 1, 3, 5, 6 only. B. 2, 4, 5 only. C. 4 and 5 only. D. 1, 2, 3, 6 only. The correct answer is D1236 only. Anemia and COVID-19 are not part of the NTDs. Neglected tropical diseases are a diverse group of tropical infections which are common in low-income populations in the developing regions of Af Africa, Asia and the Americas. They are caused by a variety of pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, protozoa and parasitic worms. Recently, NTD is seen in news because on April 14, 2020, World Chagas Disease Day was observed for the first time. The day is observed to spread awareness about this silent and silenced disease. The Chagas disease is also known as American Trypanosomiasis. It is silent because it progresses slowly and is called silenced because it mainly affects the poor people who often lack proper health care. It is caused by a vector bone protozoa and spreads by contact with Typonosoma cruzi, infected feces of the triotamine, assassin bug. Chagas disease does not kill victims rapidly, instead causing years of debilitating chronic symptoms. There are two phases of Chagas disease. The acute phase is usually asymptomatic. Please note, snake bite was added to the list in 2017 after years of criticism of the World Health Organization by activists for not making it a priority. The greatest burden of snake bite morbidity is in India and Southeast Asia. Question number three. Consider the following statements with reference to Prime Minister Jan Arogya Yojana, PMJ. Number one. PM Jan Arogya Yojana covers the entire pre hospitalization and post hospitalization expenses such as diagnostics and medicines. Number two. The households included are based on the deprivation occupational criteria of the socio-economic caste census 2011. Number three, the coverage mentioned under PMJ also includes families that were covered in Rashtriya Swastya Bhima Yojana but not present in the SECC 2011 database. Which of the following statements are incorrect? A. 1 and 3 only. B. 2 only. C. 1 only. D. 2 and 3 only. And the correct answer is A. 1 and 3 only. The first statement is incorrect because it covers up to 3 days of pre-hospitalization and 15 days post-hospitalization expenses such as diagnostics and medicines. PMJ is the world's largest health insurance assurance scheme fully financed by the government. It provides a cover of rupees 5 lakhs per family per year for secondary and tertiary care hospitalization 
across public and private impaneled hospitals in India. Please note PMJ is a component scheme under Ayushman Bharat. Ayushman Bharat, a flagship scheme of Government of India, was launched as recommended by the National Health Policy in 2017 to achieve the vision of universal health coverage. This initiative has been designed to meet SDGs and its underlining commitment, which is to leave no one behind. Ayushman Bharat is an attempt to move from sectoral and segmented approach of health service delivery to a comprehensive need-based healthcare service. The scheme aims to undertake path-breaking interventions to holistically address the healthcare system, covering prevention, promotion and ambulatory care at the primary, secondary and tertiary level. Let's move on. Question number four. Consider the following statements. Number one. There is no specific law in India to deal with fake news, but there are statutory bodies to act against dissemination of misinformation. Number two, free publication or broadcast of news in India flows from the fundamental right to freedom of expression as enshrined under Article 19 of the Constitution. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A. One only. B. None. C. Two only. D. Both. Correct answer is D. Both. Both the statements are true. Fake news is false information, stories or hoaxes created to deliberately misinform or deceive the readers. Usually these stories are created to either influence people's views, push a political agenda or cause confusion and they can often be a profitable business for online publishers. Complaints can be lodged with the News Broadcasters Association which represents the private television news and current affairs broadcasters. It is self-regulatory in nature and probes complaints against news broadcasters in a fair manner. There is another body called the Indian Broadcast Foundation which was created in the year 1999 to look into the complaints. Complaints against contents aired by the 24-7 channels. A complaint relating to objectionable TV content or fake news can be filed to the Broadcasting Content Complaint Council. Next question, number 5. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Number 1. The state government will set up the Interstate River Water Disputes Tribunal for the adjudication of water disputes. Number 2. The central government maintains a data bank and information system at the national level for each river basin. Number 3. Constitution empowers parliament with the power to provide that neither the Supreme Court nor any other court shall exercise jurisdiction in respect of any such dispute or complaint. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A. 1 only. B. 2 and 3 only. C. 1, 2, 3. D. 1 and 3 only. Correct answer is B. 2 and 3 only. 2 and 3 are correct. The first statement is incorrect because the Interstate River Water Disputes Act 1956 confers a power upon union government to constitute tribunals to resolve such disputes. Please note that Article 262 1 provides that Parliament may by law provide for the adjudication of any dispute or complaint with respect to the use, distribution or control of the waters of or in any state river or river valley. Article 262 2. Empowers Parliament with the power to provide by law that neither the Supreme Court nor any other court shall exercise jurisdiction in respect of any such dispute or complaint. Question number 6. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Number 1. Koonj is a species of crane specifically endemic to the countries of India and Pakistan. Number 2. The IUCN Red List of Threatened Species classifies them as vulnerable. Choose the correct answer from the codes given below. A. Both. B. None. C. One only. D. Two only. The correct answer is none. Both these statements are incorrect. The first statement is incorrect because it is not endemic to India and Pakistan. It only spends the winter every year in the states of Gujarat and Rajasthan. The demoiselle crane or kunj is found in central Eurasia ranging from the Black Sea to Mongolia and northeastern China. 
This bird is symbolically significant in the culture of India and Pakistan and in Kitchen, Rajasthan villages feed the crane on their migration and these large congregations have become an annual spectacle. Second statement is incorrect because it is classified as least concerned, not as vulnerable. Next question. Number 7. Consider the following statements with reference to the Rabha tribe. Rabha is a scheduled tribe community of West Bengal, Assam and Meghalaya. Number 2. The Rabha society was matriarchal which implies by birth they used to obtain the gothra of their mother. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A. Both. B. None. C. One only. D. Two only. The correct answer is A. Both. Now let us give you a little information on the Rabba community. Community. The Rabba girls inherited the right of property, but now the system is no longer in existence. Also, the Rabba community previously believed in animism, but now they are intermingled with Hinduism and the Rabba language is a member of the tibeto burman language family. Recently, the government of Meghalaya has decided to exclude the unpresented tribes from the provision of the sixth schedule of the constitution. The five minor tribes, namely Bodo Kachari, Hajong, Koch, Man and Rabha are clubbed together as unpresented tribes for Nomination in Meghalaya's Autonomous Tribal Council. Let us give you a little information on the Rabha community. The Rabha girls inherited the right of property, but now the system is no longer in existence. Also, the Rabha community previously believed in animism, but now they are intermingled with Hinduism, and the Rabha language is a member of the Tiboto Burman language family. Recently, the government of Meghalaya has decided to exclude unrepresented tribes from the provisions of the sixth schedule of the constitution. The five minor tribes, namely Bodokachari, Hajong, Koch, Man, and Rabha, are clubbed together as unrepresented tribes for nomination in Meghalaya's Autonomous Tribal Council. Let's move on. Question number eight. Recently, World Anti-Doping Agencies, WADA panels, banned which of the following countries from the competing in international events, including the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics, for a period of four years? And the options are A. Russia, B. China, C. North Korea, D. Venezuela. The correct answer is A. Russia. Russia has been accused of running a sophisticated doping program as concluded by an investigation conducted by WADA. WADA was established in 1999 as an international independent agency composed and funded equally by the sport movement and governments of the world and its foundation was initiated by the International Olympic Committee to promote, coordinate and monitor the fight against drugs in sports. Question number 9. Suranga Bawadi, an ancient water system of the Deccan Plateau, is situated in which of the following states of India? A. Kerala, B. Andhra Pradesh, C. Maharashtra or D. Karnataka. Correct answer is B. Karnataka. Suranga Bawadi, situated in Bijapur, Karnataka, has been added to the World Monuments Watch List. The monument has been selected under the ancient water system of the Deccan Plateau by World Monuments Fund. Suranga Bawadi is an integral part of the ancient Kare system of supplying water through subterranean tunnels. It was built by Adil Shah I of Adil Shahi dynasty of Bijapur in the 16th century to supply water to the city of Bijapur in Karnataka. About the Kare system, it is a water harnessing technology in which groundwater is brought to the surface by a tunnel. In this system, no mechanical pump or lift is used. Gravity alone brings the water from the underground surface. The technology originated in Persia, Iran and was widely used during the medieval period. Last question. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Number 1. 
The sovereign gold bond aimed at changing the habits of Indians from savings in physical form of gold to a paper form with sovereign backing. The bonds will be restricted for sale to resident Indian entities including individuals, trusts, universities and charitable institutions. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A. One only. B. None. C. Two only. D. Both. Correct answer is D. Both. Now how will this benefit India? So the government introduced these bonds to help reduce India's over dependence on gold imports. The bonds will be denominated in multiples of grams of gold with a basic unit of 1 gram. The tenor will be for a period of 8 years with exit option from the 5th year to be exercised on the interest payment states. Also, these bonds can be used as collateral for loans and the loan to value ratio is to be set equal to ordinary gold loan mandated by the Reserve Bank from time to time. We have a bonus question today for you. Bharat Natyam is one of the oldest dance form of which of the following states of India? A. Andhra Pradesh B. Tamil Nadu C. Kerala or D. Karnataka Correct answer is B. Tamil Nadu The origin of this dance can be traced to the sage Bharat Muni's Natya Shastra the Abhinay Darpan by Nandik Sevara is one of the main sources of textual material for the study of the technique and grammar of body movement in the Bharatnatyam dance. The style was kept alive by the Devdasis, the young girls, gifted by their parents to the temples and married to the gods. E. Krishna Ayer and Rukmini Devi Arundale had played a significant role in popularizing this dance form. This form of dance is slow and moving but at times fast and fluid and hence it is also known as fire dance. That's all for today. Thank you for watching us. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the best. We'll be back soon.